Hi guys, this is a very unusual uh, video to what I um, normally put on my channel, but I wanted to show uh, very fast how you can mint uh, NFT tokens uh, from an NFT series that you're part of uh, without paying too much for gas. So this is uh, one of the tokens that uh, I will be uh, talking about. So let's say that we want to mint this kind of token and we have the token address, we have information about it, we have the base price and we can mint up to 10 pieces in a single run uh, and we got some extra information that they are on the Ethereum mainnet and what is the gas limit. So, first of all you need to have your uh, MetaMask wallet or any hardware wallet that is compatible with Web3 injection wallet, so MetaMask is the preferred one. Uh, I'm actually pretty low on Ether right now. Uh, I've made some spendings but uh, in general what you need is just this and uh, if I refresh the website it should tell me connect and once I connect it refreshes and then I can click buy and I get this notification right so this notification has a very high uh, estimated gas fee which is $230 uh, dollars at uh, right now this price However, this is due to a gas limit that is being set here, so 330,000 uh, for the transaction. So the gas limit is um, amount of ether that you lock in the transaction and you are maximum willing to spend to validate the transaction. But in the end, this value could be actually a lot lower than what you are spending uh, in the transaction but you still have to have enough funds to lock it so you can edit suggested gas fees and you can change the limit however if you change the limit too low the transaction will fail and you will get your money for minting reverted back to you but the gas fees that you have paid they will be taken away from you so this is a risk that uh, i i don't suggest to type values here by hand so what I do suggest to do is that you can use different methods to mint this token. So uh, what you can do, uh, let's close everything, you can just click on the contract and this will throw you to the tokens website on Etherscan. And here you have information about uh, events that took place, you have holders, you have like a lot of stuff, but what is important is the contract itself. So let's click on contract. And inside the contract, uh, you see uh, a lot of information, but what is the most important is the contract itself. So here you can validate the contract. You can see if it is uh, well made, if it has any bugs or issues. I know I already reviewed this contract. It has a very, very minor uh, flaw that is not really a, a security threat or anything. And you have more information here about it. You have the construction script arguments. You have the ABI, which is also very important, and you can do one of few things. So first of all, you have the code, you have read and you have write. So you can read contract. And what you can do, uh, you can, for example, call any of those read functions. And when you call them, you get information about what, uh, what it tells you, right? So for example, uh, right now, only whitelisted users can mint from this contract. So you can check if you are whitelisted. So there's a function called is whitelisted and this is a, a get function. It doesn't uh, save any information into the blockchain, which means that it doesn't cost anything to run it. So I can just go here uh, let's uh, reject this and I can just copy my own uh, wallet and I can paste it here and I can query and see if I am whitelisted and it says true, which means that I can actually uh, mint tokens. So to mint tokens, you go into write contract and in white, uh, write contract, you just click connect to Web3, select MetaMask uh, and say OK. And now I am connected. I can check that the beginning and end of the address is actually my address and I can click mint. So with mint, I can say that this contract is payable which means that I can send ether and this minting will fail if I don't send at least 0.06 ether for minting one token 
but I can, if I want, I can send more than that. So let's say that I am sending uh, 0 0.06 and I'm going to mint a single token. Now, when you call this function from this website, it will actually re-evaluate the maximum uh, gas limit that is uh, required to run this transaction at this very specific moment. There is still a very small risk chance that this transaction will get reverted, but most likely it will not. Uh, but it did calculate uh, wrong the gas fees because I simply don't have enough money to uh, run this transaction. Uh, but if you have enough uh, ether to run it, it will actually uh, evaluate uh, gas fees that would be a lot lower. The third way to do it is through, for example, my ether wallet. So you can go into uh, myetherwallet.com. And here, just go access my wallet, access my browser extension wallet, which means MetaMask. And here you have interaction with contracts. So you can, for example, go here and say interact with contract. And you can now specify which contract you want to interact with. So we go back here. You go into contract code and you have here the address. You just copy it, paste it. And you need one more thing. So you need the ABI. Uh, in JSON format and it's here because the contract got validated uh, you have all the information here which means I can just copy it paste it here and I can go into interaction with the contract directly so I can just click mint here and I can do exactly the same as I showed in the ether scan which says that uh, minimum amount this is like an input uh, so I'm minting just one token and the uh, ETH amount, uh, Ethereum, it must be multiplication of this number by the cost of the token. So 0 0.06, 0 0.06. Um, okay. Mm, okay, but this is also checking that I don't have enough uh, Ethereum, but if I had enough Ethereum, it would actually allow me to write the contract and the estimation value for the Ether would be uh, also up to date with how much does the transaction cost at, uh, at this uh, particular moment. So uh, if you have issues with gas limit being set too high on the minting uh, platform you can mint directly through the contract interaction on the ether scan and you can uh, also mint directly in my ether wallet or any other wallet that allows you to uh, go into direct contact with the uh, contract uh, one also very cool feature about minting uh, in this way is that if this website got ddos or it got, uh, you know, it, it went down by any means and you have very limited time to mint anything from a contract. All you need to know about the contract, all you need to know about the NFT series is the address of the contract. And once you have the address, you can do uh, interaction with it absolutely directly without the need of any website. So I just wanted to say uh, about that, that there are multiple ways to mint tokens. There are multiple ways to save gas. And by the way, even if you are minting directly from the website, uh, like I said, the high gas limit doesn't mean that you are spending $200 uh, dollars to mint tokens. It just means that this is the maximum you are locking to mint tokens, but the actual value of minting those tokens would be something around $100, maybe $150, depending on the moment uh, uh, at a certain time. So, yeah, uh, thanks for listening and see you in the next video.